Hello learners, welcome to topic Lyophilization. I am Priyanka Patel and today I am going to explain about secondary drying. To understand the topic, you have to first complete videos regarding freezing and primary drying which are first two steps for lyophilization process. Learning objective. After going through this video, learners will be able to understand about secondary drying and basic freeze dry cycle. Secondary drying state starts with 5 to 10 percent water and end when residual moisture contained in lyophilized cake is around 0.1 to 2 percent, thereby removing bound water from solute to a level that it assures long-term stability of the product. This can be done by introducing heat to the product under controlled condition thereby providing additional energy to the product to remove adsorbed water in crystalline system and unfrozen or bound water in glassy phase that is in amorphous system. So in secondary drying generally bound water or unfrozen water or adsorbed water in a solute system is removed and for the same we have to apply high temperature. The temperature for secondary drying is generally around 40 degrees Celsius for small molecules and for larger molecules like protein, it is around 30 degrees Celsius. As you can see in this diagram, temperature steadily increased during the primary drying. And in secondary drying, rate of increase in a temperature is more. Why rate of increase in a temperature is more in secondary drying in comparison to primary drying? Because during primary drying, there is moisture or there is ice that will absorb the heat. So, increase in a temperature is not larger. But in secondary drying, only there are 5 to 10 percent of the moisture. So, amount of ice or frozen water is less which can absorb the heat. So, that lead to increase in a temperature of the product almost same as that of the self temperature. So rate of increase in a product temperature is quite higher during secondary drying in comparison to the primary drying. Low chamber pressure during secondary drying will slow down the rate of drying by inhibiting the heat transfer from self to the product. As well as slow pressure during secondary drying can also accelerate the leaching of component of rubber closer. Secondary drying usually carried out for approximately one third to half of the time required for primary drying. End point for determination of secondary drying. During secondary drying, the product temperature generally rises gradually and equal to the self temperature. The rise in a chamber pressure directly proportional to the residual moisture of the product. So if there is increase in a chamber of the pressure, it indicates that moisture is still present into the product. After secondary drying is completed, next stage is closing of the vial. So when product is sufficiently dry, the stoppers which are halfway closed or partially closed into the vial when products were filled, they were completely sealed by hydraulic system that compresses the stack of the self. And by compressing the stack of the self, halfway closed Closers are completely closed into vial. It is common practice to stopper the vials while the chamber is still under at least partial vacuum, which aid in sitting the stoppers and facilitate reconstitution. It is common to backfill the product with nitrogen or argon like inert gas prior to fully sitting the stoppers. This is the hierarchy of typical freeze dry cycle. First is freezing phase. After loading, cooling is done to 5 degrees Celsius. Self temperature is decreases to minus 40 degrees Celsius and it is hold generally for 2 hours for the freezing of the solution. Next step is primary drying phase. Primary drying should be performed below collapse temperature. Self temperature must be approximately 20 degrees Celsius above the collapse temperature, but make sure that product temperature is 5 degrees Celsius below the critical collapse temperature. Maintain the chamber pressure at 10 to 30 percent vapor pressure of the ice at the primary drying temperature. 
usually 100 to 200 micron at G. Use temperature props, pressurized tubes, and dew point measurement to determine end of the primary drying. Next is secondary drying. Here we have to use moderate to high vacuum. Adjust the cell temperature to 25 to 30 degrees Celsius for proteins and 35 to 40 degrees Celsius for non-protein and hold it at least for 4 hours. Adjust the cell temperature to 25 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Celsius prior to stopping, neutralizing and unloading. So as we have completed basic principle of freeze drying process, let's see what are advantages of freeze dried product. So first advantage is Product is stored in a dry state, so it is having fewer stability issues. Product is dried without elevating the temperature, so, is, so it can be used for temperature sensitive drug. It is also suitable method for oxygen and air sensitive drug. Constituents of the dried material remain homogeneously dispersed. Product is processed in liquid form. Sterility of the product can be achieved and maintained. Let's see what are disadvantages of freeze dried product. It is not suitable for volatile compound, which may be removed by high vacuum. It is single most expensive unit operation process. It also possesses some stability issue with some individual drug. Some issue associated with sterilization and sterility assurance of the dry chamber and aseptic loading of files into the chamber. Next is Desired characteristics of freeze dried product. After completion of freeze drying cycle, product must be in form of intact cake. It must have sufficient strength. It should have uniform color. It should be sufficiently dry. So maintain the acceptable stability throughout the cell life. Sufficiently porous. Then only it will be having a high dissolution rate or less reconstitution time. It should be sterile, free from pyrogen free from particulate matter and it should remain chemically stable. These are the references and with this I conclude my video. Thank you everyone for listening my video. If you have any doubt you can contact me on given ID. Thank you once again.